Hey everybody, it's about 1.50 on this Wednesday, the last day of February, the leap year day, if you will, for 2012, which is the 29th. And as you probably saw in the video before this, I am kind of called breaking news, if you will. Sat AM on Net is now on Netflix streaming. Well, it is indeed true. This very series is now on Netflix streaming. Now, this is something we, if you're a true Sat AM fan like I am, Sonic Sat AM fan, or overall Sonic fan like I am, it's something that you've been waiting to see. You've been waiting to see this series get onto a Netflix streaming ever since, um, ever since uh, Netflix started to stream the other two Sonic shows like Adventures and Underground. Now, a lot of people will look and presume that maybe Sat AM should have came out before Underground, and which is true. It probably should have, but you've got to understand, though. You have to understand sometimes it, there's a process behind the scenes. There's a process, and maybe they felt that since uh, Underground and Adventures were more kind of like lighthearted in some areas, most importantly Adventures being lighthearted, that they should test those out, they should put those first, and test them out and see if maybe there's a demand there for probably the other one. And believe it or not, there was a demand. There was indeed a demand because when I watch it, because when I look at the ratings, it's got five star ratings, so then that's not a surprise. So, again though, apparently there was, obviously there was a demand, and Netflix told, Netflix and I guess the partners of this Cookie Jar Entertainment, aka Dick Entertainment, said, okay, there's a demand, let's do it. And um, that's what they did. And it's not just one season, I'll let you know that. It's not one season, it's all the seasons. It's both seasons. Now some people will ask, is the video quality just as good, if not better? It all depends on how you look at it. Me, I think it looks pretty good. The only problem is they got some of the episodes out of order in some areas of the first season and the second season as well as I got the descriptions kind of out of order too. But that's okay, that's expected. Because I'm pretty sure this isn't the only one. I'm pretty sure the other Sonic series have the same thing. But the question is, but I know one of the questions that fans would have, is why did it take so long? Why did it take so long for it to come for Netflix to stream it? Like I said, probably behind, it was behind the scenes reasons. And maybe, maybe somebody working at Netflix that came up that, you know, started streaming the other two said, you know what? And probably not just at Netflix, probably at Cookie Jar slash Dick Entertainment said, you know what? These other two are popular, Underground and Adventures, but they're not as popular as this one. So let's see how fans feel about these first, and if they want the other one, if there's a demand for the other one, which obviously there was, we'll, we'll put that one on later. And apparently there was enough demand, like I said, for this one to get the treatment of streaming. Now, Sonic Sat AM apparently is not alone in its debut on Netflix streaming. No. Netflix streaming also had the cookie jar slash dig entertainment debuts of Sabrina's Secret Life, Sabrina the Animated Series, Super Duper Sumos, Adventures of Patty Team Bear, amongst others. Now, there are some other ones, of course, like Archie's Weird Mysteries, and a few out there like New Kids and stuff like that, and maybe even, um, what, what, what is that? Kid Video, that's what it is. Shows like maybe Kid Video and all that, they, that have not yet gotten that treatment either. But believe me, again, it's all due to the fact that there are backstage reasons um, behind them. So, Maybe backstage reasons, I'm not really sure. But I'm pretty sure there's reasons why some shows have not yet gotten that treatment, like, like Adventures, Underground, and now Sat AM, and other shows like Sabrina, Secret Life, Sabrina, uh, animated series, Super Duper Sumos, Paddington Bear, amongst others, have not yet gotten. I mean, have gotten, but those other shows have not. And again, I, I believe it's just due to demand it's due to demand. Obviously, it's due to the overall demand. And also, maybe it's the fact that they still got to process. What they have to do is they got to transfer. They got to convert every episode of a series to make sure it's streaming. 
to make sure it's suitable and ready for streaming. Because basically what it is is when it's on streaming, it's automatically right there. You don't have to wor you don't have to worry about popping the disc in, or you don't have to worry about a disc changing and putting in something else. It's right there. They're all converted right there digitally for you to watch. So that's basically what it is. It's a process that takes a while. Now some of you may say, well, wait a minute. Adventures and Underground had more than Sat AM. It's true, they did. But they, like I said, they were probably put in the process first to see if there would be a demand enough to want this. Because since this had a box set already, just like the other two, they probably wanted to know if there would be a big enough demand for it. And you know what? Again, there was. And that's why also you see other shows like the Sabrina shows and Super Duper Sumos and all those other ones. Sabrina, obviously another popular character, fans wanted to see her shows, but only could do the box sets. Well, guess what? Now they got it. Heathcliff, when it did it, boom, fans wanted it, and they got it. But here's the thing. Ever since Adventures and Underground came out, something told me this was coming. It's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time. And like I said, the, pro the backstage process is the fact that it's all due to, due to the fact that they've got to convert to make sure it's all ready digitally for you just to stream it right then and there. Now, here's the question people have already. I mean, I posted uh, a topic on this at every site I can think of. DeviantArt, Fur Affiliate, uh, SaturdayMorningSonic.com forums, Satiam, Fans United for Satiam, at SatiamSonic.com forums, the Sonic Stadium message boards, the Sega message boards, and people are like, hey, that's cool, that's great. Some, some, one person's like, well, a night devoted to pr productivity is now going to be devoted to re-watching Sat AM. Others, others are like, cool. But then others are like, eh, it doesn't, it's no big deal. I got the Sat AM box set. Or someone like, eh, I don't care. Who cares, right? Well, let me explain why it's a big deal for true Sonic fans, overall true Sonic fans, not just a Sat AM, but if anything, Sonic, with a few exceptions. The reason it's important is because in this day and age, as probably many of you know and should know and probably own, there are mobile, there are devices out there, Xbox 360s, PS3s, Wii's, you know, Rookie or Ruko devices, you know, Blu-ray players that have built-in Netflix, same with DVD players and stuff like that, TiVo with built-in Netflix, stuff like that, and including iPods, iPhones, I Androids, Kindles, iPads, you name it. All these devices that most of them, from what I understand, incorporate Netflix in some manner or form, in some manner. Why it's so important is for those that own those kind of devices, if you're a Sat AM fan, or a true Sonic fan overall, you can now watch episodes of Sat AM on the go. Let's say you have an Android, or let's say you have an iPhone. You can watch them on the go now on your iPhone. Or if you're in a facility that has Wi-Fi, let's say, like tomorrow, I'm going to be at my sister's for her birthday. Or let's say you're at McDonald's or Starbucks or wherever. And you want to, and you want to put your earphones in, right? You put your earphones in here and you want to watch something while, let's say, you're waiting for your food. Or let's say you're in a, a theater that has Wi-Fi capability, free Wi-Fi capability, and you're waiting for the Broadway show to start, or the show, or musical, whatever you're going to watch. You can sit there with your earphones in, and you can watch Sonic Saturday AM, or you can watch Sonic Underground, you can watch Adventures of Sonic, or you can watch Sabrina, one of Sabrina's shows, Secret Life of it, or an animated series, Super Duper Sumo, Paddington Bear, Heathcliff, you know, just to name a few. You can sit there, and you can watch them um, and you don't have to worry, worry about, oh man, you don't have to, you know, just kill yourself wondering, oh, when are we going to get home so I can pop in the DVD, or I can turn on my Xbox or my Rookie device or my TiVo device and, and watch these shows. You don't have to worry about that. And that's why it's such a big deal. Because now you have the capability, let's say, okay, let's say you have an iPhone, like, say, my family, my my older sister and her family does. You can watch Sonic Sat AM 
on the iPhone, let's say you're on a long trip, like, like this summer, me and my family are going to a wedding down um, in the South Bay, down in the South Bay. We're going to a wedding. Let's say you want to watch Sonic or Sabrina or Heathcliff or maybe even a movie and you don't and you have no access if you will to your portable device and let's say you don't have a portable DVD player on hand this is the next an iPhone or an Android is the next best thing because then you could just watch it right there and not have to worry that's why it's such a big deal I know again some some people will be like it's not a big deal Brian Right? And who knows how long it's going to be around. But believe me, it is a big deal and people appreciate it. That's why some people at these forums where I posted the link and the message are like, great, this is terrific. And I'm sure people watching the video before this one on YouTube are like, hey, that's great, we got Sonic Sat AM. Oh, great, we got Sabrina, we got Sabrina's Secret Life, Sabrina Animated Series. You know, they're, the reason they say stuff like that is because they're happy at the fact that and let's say they're on the road and they have an iPhone or an iPod, well, mostly an iPhone or an Android, or they're in a place with free Wi-Fi capability, like say a hotel, hell, oh, like the Holiday Inn or the Best Westerns, or or the um, or they're at a McDonald's, or like I say, they're in a theater with free Wi-Fi capability, just waiting in the waiting 20 minutes for the musical to start. They could be watching a show or a movie. It'll be right there. And then, if they can't finish the episode of, episode of said, of say, the episode of, let's say, Sat AM, or Sabrina, or whatever, or can't finish the movie, then they just stop it, and when they get home, they can watch it on the television. That's why it's such a big deal, folks. So, I thought I'd just let you guys know about that. Sort of a bit of a follow-up to the breaking news deal of Sat AM being on Netflix streaming. If you want to comment down below, go ahead. Video response if you like. And I'll talk to you all later.